Have you ever wondered if there are subtle signals that reveal the secret of a woman's sexual history? Whether we like it or not, this is a subject that sparks curiosity and sometimes even controversy. Today we're going to delve deep into this contentious yet fascinating topic four signs that might indicate a woman has had many sexual partners. Before we proceed, it's important to remember that this isn't about judgment or criticism. Instead, it's about understanding human behavior and intimate relationships, and hopefully we can approach this conversation with open minds. Our goal here at Real Life Truth is not to perpetuate stereotypes or reinforce societal biases. Rather, we aim to challenge misconceptions while revealing certain facts that are often whispered about but seldom addressed head-on. It's crucial to recognize that everyone's sexual history is personal and no one should be shamed or judged for their choices. That being said, understanding behavioral patterns can help us navigate relationships more thoughtfully. So prepare to be intrigued as we dive into this discussion with sensitivity and an open mind. Now, let's get into the first sign. Sign number one, behavior and attitude. When it comes to understanding whether someone has had many sexual partners, their behavior and attitude often serve as the most visible clues. The way a person carries themselves in social settings, their comfort level with the opposite sex, and even their communication style can give subtle hints. For example, imagine attending a social event and noticing a woman who exudes confidence, flirtatiousness, or overtly seeks attention from men. This type of behavior isn't inherently negative, in fact, many extroverted people naturally enjoy social interactions. However, when flirtatiousness becomes a constant part of someone's demeanor, it may suggest a deeper, more complex pattern. Picture this a woman who is frequently the life of the party, always at the center of attention, and seems to thrive on male validation. She may regularly engage in playful banter, subtle touching, or provocative gestures with men around her. While being social and outgoing is perfectly fine, when such tendencies are repeatedly linked with overt flirting or a craving for male attention, it might indicate a history of promiscuity. Now, this doesn't mean we should jump to conclusions, it's just one piece of a larger puzzle. Behavioral patterns are important to observe, especially when they align with other signals. As the saying goes, actions speak louder than words and in this case, actions might reveal much more than we think. Additionally, the way someone talks about relationships, intimacy, or even their past interactions can offer insight into their experience. Are they open and confident when discussing sexual topics? Do they often steer conversations toward flirtatious or provocative subjects? These attitudes, when combined with the aforementioned behaviors, may give clues about their sexual history. However, as always, behavior should be considered within context and not used as the sole factor in determining someone's personal experiences. Sign number two, absence of emotional attachment. The second sign is a bit more subtle but equally telling the absence of emotional attachment. In many cases, individuals who prioritize physical satisfaction over emotional connection tend to have a pattern of casual relationships or multiple partners. While emotional detachment doesn't automatically indicate a high number of sexual partners, it can often point toward a certain lifestyle or mindset. Imagine being in a relationship with someone who consistently avoids discussing future plans, shies away from emotional intimacy, or resists exclusivity. You might find that this person is comfortable with physical closeness, but reluctant to build a deeper emotional bond. In these cases, the physical aspect of the relationship is prioritized, while the emotional element is sidelined. This could be a sign that the individual is more accustomed to short-term or non-committal relationships, which may be indicative of a history of many partners. Consider situations where a woman shows little interest in long-term commitment, preferring to keep things casual or open she might even express cynicism toward the idea of exclusivity or commitment. This behavior could stem from various factors, including past experiences or a general reluctance to engage emotionally. While it's essential to respect people's boundaries and personal preferences, repeated avoidance of emotional connection could signal a deeper tendency toward casual encounters or a non-committal lifestyle. Emotional attachment is the foundation of any successful long-term relationship. When this element is frequently missing or downplayed, it's worth exploring why that might be the case. Could it be due to past heartbreak, fear of vulnerability, or simply a lifestyle choice? Whatever the reason, recognizing this absence of emotional depth 
is an important factor in understanding someone's overall relationship patterns. Sign number three, social circle and habits. They say, birds of a feather flock together, and this certainly applies to the people we surround ourselves with. A person's social circle can provide valuable clues about their lifestyle and, by extension, their sexual history. When it comes to understanding someone's background, the company they keep and the places they frequent can offer important hints. Let's break it down if a woman's close friends are predominantly male and she often spends her free time in environments associated with casual hookups, such as clubs, bars, or parties this could be telling. Frequenting these settings doesn't necessarily mean someone is promiscuous, but it may suggest a certain level of comfort with a more casual, laid-back approach to relationships and intimacy. Imagine a scenario where a woman's weekends are regularly spent at parties or nightclubs, surrounded by men who engage in flirtatious behavior. Again, there's nothing inherently wrong with having fun or socializing in such environments. However, when these activities become a pattern, it might reflect a comfort level with fleeting interactions and a lack of interest in deeper emotional connections. Moreover, if her closest friends share similar behaviors, it's likely that her lifestyle mirrors those of the people she spends the most time with. We are often influenced by our environment, and in this case, a woman who surrounds herself with individuals who prioritize casual, non-committal relationships may share similar tendencies. It's important to approach this sign with caution and nuance, as not everyone who enjoys nightlife or has a diverse social circle fits the same mold. Nevertheless, her social habits and friendships can offer insight into her broader lifestyle and relationship choices. Sign number four, physical signs. Finally, we arrive at the fourth, and perhaps most controversial sign physical clues. Let's make one thing clear from the start physical appearance alone should never be used to pass judgment or make definitive assumptions about someone's sexual history. Everyone has their own style, grooming preferences, and personal choices that don't necessarily correlate with their sexual behavior. However, when considered alongside other signs, certain physical traits may offer additional context. For instance, visible tattoos that carry sexual or provocative symbolism, particularly those that are displayed prominently, might suggest a comfort level with promiscuity or sexual expression. Similarly, unusual grooming habits, such as overly provocative clothing or certain body modifications, could be reflective of a lifestyle centered around physical allure. It's important to note that these physical traits on their own don't confirm anything they simply offer additional layers of understanding when viewed in combination with other behaviors. Additionally, the prevalence of sexually transmitted infection styes is another potential physical sign to consider. While it's essential to approach this matter with empathy and understanding since anyone can, can contract an SDI frequent sexual encounters with multiple partners do increase the likelihood of exposure to such infections. However, this should never be a reason to stigmatize or judge someone based on their health. When discussing physical signs, the key is to approach the topic with sensitivity, avoiding snap judgments or unfair assumptions. It's vital to consider the larger picture behavior, mindset, and social dynamics, all of which contribute to a more accurate understanding of a person's experiences and lifestyle. Occlusion approach with compassion and openness. At the end of the day, discussions about someone's sexual history should always be approached with dignity, compassion, and an open mind. The signs we've explored today may provide some insight into a person's past experiences, but they should never be used as a basis for harsh judgment or assumptions. Rather, use this information to deepen your understanding of human behavior and foster more open, honest conversations in your relationships. Here at Real Life Truth, we encourage respectful dialogue and personal growth. It's important to remember that everyone's journey is unique and no two people share the exact same experiences. By approaching relationships with curiosity, empathy, and a willingness to learn, we can build stronger, more authentic connections. So guys, we have come to the end of today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments section and please support Real Life Truth by subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. Let's continue to grow together and explore these topics with an open heart and mind.